Well, good morning, friends, and it's great to be with you again. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says, Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile. Because the way we can think can start to dictate our lives. If we allow negative thought patterns to take over our minds, then our experience of each day will become clouded. When you expect the worst, you get it. Or the anticipation of something bad happening ruins your day anyway. God doesn't want us to live like that. So Philippians 4 verse 8 instructs us. It says, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, we may have read those words before, but today I want you to take the chance to really examine them. They form a guide to help rewire our negative brains. For example, you know, we can't always expect to th things to turn out badly if we're thinking about something lovely. And the fact is, God has a great life ready for you. That might not always be the easiest, but it really is a great one. He wants you to enjoy it to the fullest. Jesus said it himself, uh, that he came so that we can live life to the full. That's in John chapter 10, verse 10. And it might not feel like the biggest issue to allow negative thoughts, but those habits start to affect our relationship with God. You know, we, we may not bother to pray if we've already imagined the worst case scenario to be the truth. And if we're living in our own truth like that, we miss out on God's. Now, we won't be available to take hold of the very best that he's offering to us. In Romans 8, verse 28, uh, we read that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. So let's remind ourselves of that constantly and start to think and live with that as our real truth. So today, why don't you turn to Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 and try to think of something specific for each of the adjectives listed. You know, something true, think of something noble, think of something right. And if you'd find it helpful, write down each one of those to remind you. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Lord God, Defend your church from all false teaching, and give to your people knowledge of your truth, that we may enjoy eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's finish by sharing the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.